Have I seen Thor? No. Okay. What? All right. Sorry, just curious. Okay. Uh, all right, because I'm supposed to collect any homework. You guys didn't know what Thor was for? No. Yes, yes you, you did. Okay. Who was it here last time? I wasn't. Right. You guys got homework for me? No. No. Everybody should have the one that this you had to write the paragraph. Right? Oh. I do. I gave you an extra week to write it. Okay. This right. thing. Which one? Yeah. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Okay, everybody remembers we have a uh, 250 point test next week, right? What? 250 question text test next week. Does that count, Does that count in our school district as extracurricular activities? Ten of them essay. If it did, I could really use that. Oh. Uh, Remember worksite? Remember worksite? Yes, sir. Is the thing on? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Okay. Nobody noticed, so there are. Are you just holding your hand up? Just. Stretch your arms. Yeah, okay. Ouch. All right. Okay. Everybody, oh. everybody, hold their right hand up. What? Hold your right hand up. Okay. okay. Hold your other right hand up. Ow. What? What? Oh! 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 All right, like legit. No liars. Yes. No liars. Because right. I figure, I figure you guys, if she's correct, it's prayed. Okay, you get prayed. <laughs> Turn us off. Okay. I knew this was coming, right? You guys know, right? If somebody in your class like this, and you ask in here, you realize that they're asking for volunteers to pray. Pray the second week. Why? The Why? Like the first. Because you're right. Well, if you, if you volunteer for the first, make sure you know what you're volunteering for. But if they know you're going to ask for something like this to pray, you know, you're in class or something, volu taking volunteers, always go second. Why? Who was first? See, you can't even remember who was first, right? That's my point. All right, we can pray. Okay. Right. Um, Nikki was. Oh yeah. Okay. Dear God, please help us um, understand you and the Bible more. Um, not just through our creation, through our lives. And please help us at school and in the upcoming events. And then you will have to go Amen. All right. Does everybody pass Maggie their essays so I can get it from Maggie? I was not here. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, what am I doing today? Wrapping up. Cool, it's like a good essay with somebody that didn't put her name on it. Oh my god. It was mine. It was mine. That would be Macy. Macy. So close. Alright. So. Alright, get your sheets out. Get your books out. Oh man, I just put it out. I don't know why. I do that a lot. I did not No, I just forget. I just put it Right, you gotta just put you figure it after 10 weeks to this, guys, you just know just walk in the room and get them out, right? I had them out. That's... All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. We're on uh, 38, page 78 and 79 of your books. All right. We are almost done. All right. All right. For some of these slides that you're going to know tonight, 
Uh, this is one of those ones we started this back in August, believe it or not. Um, going through this, and I started going through these slides in August, and you guys were sitting there and looking at this, uh, like what in the world does all these symbols mean, okay? I'm going to show you how far you progressed. You're going to be able to tell me what most of these symbols mean tonight. All right? Um, in here. So, uh, who can tell me what this one means? We did this two weeks ago. Remember? Study it a second. Put the pieces together. Now I know you have to do it. Somebody else do it. Take on somebody. Maggie, you want to give it a try? You did it last week? Oh, good. No, I Seriously, you did this last week? Yeah, me and Maggie. Okay, you did it last week? All right. So, pick two boys to do it. Okay. No. Okay. What boys do you want to pick on? <laughs> um, Matthew and Cody. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. You guys started. Where does it start? Yep, you're right. All right. You gotta speak up. Strike. All right. You don't have to do it all. Who's helping you? Okay. All right. So it starts with what? Colby? God. God starts at the top, right? Okay. And what's next? Right here? Said Jesus. All right. What's next? Said Jesus, the servant king, to die and rise again to heaven. Very good. Okay. To die and rise again. What's this? Colby? Right here. Yeah. Let's speak up. Ascend into, Ascend into heaven, right? And then this part right here is? Whoever's next? He spoke down through the Holy Spirit to baptize us into glory and faith. Okay. All right. Comes to us in baptism. And how? <coughs> how? <coughs> and? Yes, this is called what? There's a Lutheran term for this. What do we call it? Communion. Any of the guys, this is there's a term for this. You learned it last year. We talked about it last week. What's it called? The Lord's Supper. No, it's Lord's Supper and baptism. Lord's Supper and baptism go together to make one term. What is it? Sacrament. Sacrament. Or also called three. Yes, means of grace. Alright. Alright. Okay, keep going. You guys are on a roll. Alright. Comes to us. Who's this? Jesus. Jesus who? I thought this was Jesus. Service King. That's holy Jesus. Jesus. Alright, this is who? That's praising Jesus. Okay, alright. And so, comes to us to let us sit here, or what? Spread the word. Okay, <laughs> and then nice. what? What's, the, what's this last part? <laughs> the what? The sins back into heaven? Okay, so he ascends back into heaven and leaves us down here. Okay, all right. Got it? Everybody got it? So over here, you guys can do it if I ask you to. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Sure. I'll come back to it. All right. This was review, right? Everybody, everybody remember this, right? Now? Everybody shake your head yes. Yes. Okay? Yes. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Right. Next slide. All right. We're gonna love this.
this one. Now, here, look at this slide you're going to think, right? It's beautiful. It's like, it's like public art. It is. It's like public art thinking. Only thing. All right? Understand. Uh, Give me one thing you want to thank God for today. Turn over here. Being here. Can't use being here. Everybody's got to use a different one. Okay? Sports. Sports. You can't repeat. One thing you're thanking God for today. Working school. Okay, over here. You thought I was doing <laughs> I know mine. Alright? Advanced human What? Advanced human Okay. Dirt. Dirt. Alright? Hey, you don't have dirt, right? You don't have what? Rocks. Mud. Cool. <laughs> what? Technology. Technology. You. Thank you. You're welcome. You're, you're already passing. It's okay. Water. <laughs> Water. Water. Family. Kids. Kids. <coughs> Home. Home. See you later. What? So Friends. Your answer can vary on that. Work. Your mother. Okay. Nope. All right. Okay, just make sure everybody's away. Uh, mine is. What? I said no. Uh, <laughs> I said no. Actually, you guys. Oh, I'm so touched. You need a hug. All right. So, all right. Now that we're a little awake, right? Everybody's awake? Mm -hmm. With me? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. So, this one, right? You remember this one? Who remembers this? All right? You guys have talked today. You already talked. Uh, <laughs> you just crazy. Cassidy, explain this one to us. Don't read the book. Yeah, she can. Thank you. I can use my resources. I can use my resources. That's right. I know you can. But you should be able to do this. I should make you do this without the book because you've seen this. You can't do this without the book because this. First, you can't do it with the book because you've seen these at least twice. Okay. So you do, do do the first. Do it without the book. Okay. Well, the little one. That's key. Thank God. Top of okay. And then, aren't those slaves that travel to uh, okay. uh, uh, This is symbol for what? Wait, of, of that? So right. Slaves? Right. Mm -hmm. Slaves where? <laughs> Somebody help her? <laughs> yes. Egypt. Egypt, keep going. <laughs> oh, slaves in yeah. Egypt and they. Keep going. They traveled to where the, that mountain. Right. I don't remember the name of the mountain. Okay. What happens there? Commandments were made. What's that? Commandments were made. Commandments also known as the covenant. Covenant. Keep going. And they went. Yeah, I don't remember that. So. This. Yeah. And over here, this is the somebody help her. Somebody. I know, I know. Promised land. Promised land. I did not okay, the significance of, of land. <laughs> significance of this is what? Yes. What? Oh, right here, water. water. Right? And it passed through the water. This is alright. So that's this. This side is what? I know you're going crazy. I'm not gonna ask you one, you know. This <laughs> 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 is like school, right? You guys know in school, right? I know yeah, I know I know Right, if you want to get called on in school, you got to learn the face is, I don't know this. Yeah. Right? Because if you raise your hand, if you want to call on that, just, right? It's just like this. you got to learn that. you got to learn how to give the expression, please don't call on me, please don't call on me. Oh, that doesn't work all the time. I usually just raise my hand and act like I know what I'm doing. Right. All right, so this is what? 
Cassie, this side is, this side is what? This side is what? The world being created? Very good. Okay, this is called, there's a title to this slide. This slide's called what? It says Genesis 1 and Anybody? Earth. Right. This is creation 1 and Exodus 1. Remember we talked about this? Right? Genesis, Exodus, here, creation 1, Exodus 1. The part where they bring them out of Egypt, bring them into the promise, give them the covenant, right? Take them into the promised land. We talked about how that ties back into what sacrament? Baptism, very good, all right? This is that one, this is a little harder. Don't raise your hand. All right, you raise your hand? Okay, all right. This, one, this one's harder. This one's harder. All right. I'm gonna pick on you. All right. The one who does it was the second creation of the second Exodus. Right. Okay. Explain. Explain it for us. Okay. So, um, yeah. Like, there's no like. Okay. Is that where they worship the Baals? No. What? Babylon. Babylon, right? Yeah. We're in captivity in Babylon. In here. Okay, keep going. Oh, me? <laughs> okay, so yeah. they, like, they pass through the water again. Mm -hmm. And then um, there's like a cloud and some fire right there. Okay. I forgot what that was about. But <laughs> Who can help him? Yes. Um, the Israelites were let out of the Desert by a pillar of fire and cloud. That's right. Okay. And here, and so it is, right? <laughs> God is leading them. Where does he lead them? Into the new promised land. Into the new promised land? Into the promised so, um, land. Into the promised land or Jerusalem. back to the promised land, remember? Oh, remember, we, we went through the all kings, the worship of the Baal, the destruction of Jerusalem. They got carted off to Babylon. Remember we talked about how, you know, they got in here. Is remember we talked about you guys were dead and you guys were whatever, right? And then you sit here and they got the rest of them got the rest of them got hauled off to Babylon. This is the coming back from Babylon. Okay. It's like hitting a restart button. Right. It's very good. Okay. Exodus one. This is called Exodus. Two. Cre Exodus 2, creation 2. Right? Do it in reverse order. Okay. All right. Ooh. You want to do this one? I don't, I, I, I don't um, want to do the name, but I don't want to explain it. <laughs> well, if you do the name, you got to explain it. Uh -huh. Explain it. You can do it. I can't explain I don't understand that. Sure. I'll tell you where it starts. <laughs> right? Well, okay, okay, seriously, everybody. Here, seriously. All right. A little fun tonight. All right. Go back and look at these. Go back and look at this second. I want you to look eyes up with me. Okay. Look at the symbols at the top. Right. You know what all these symbols mean. Now. Right. Where's my alarm? You know what these symbols mean now. Right. Yes. Slavery. Okay. Circles of sin. You know God. Exodus leading his people. Covenant. You know these symbols down here. All right, so let me take you through here now. All right, now I'll tell you where to start. Where? Okay, you're going to start. I can't find my marker tonight. This is what this is. Oh, right, usually. Oh, this is what happens. I moved, I moved the cursor pad up thinking it would be easier to walk right on the side where I can't do it. Okay, start here. Okay. Start on this side right here. Okay. That's like people going against the commandments. Uh, uh sort of. What's that called? Sin. It's sin. All right. People all right. Are sinning. All right. Sin. Remember, that's the circle for sin. Hang on. Okay. So what's the chain? Slavery. Two. Oh man. Are you No. no. <laughs> Slavery two. Look at the picture. Slavery two. 
Somebody help us. <laughs> <laughs> Slave Raccoon? What? The light bulb went off. It sounds like the light bulb. It sounds like the filament burning out. What is that? I think I lost this class when I walked in the room. Here, okay? All right, somebody help her. Captivity two. Yes. Sin. Thank you. Okay, now what else in here? Captivity is sin. What else is in here? Death and. <laughs> the devil, right? Hang on. This is key, right? Captivity to, right? We're in captivity and slavery to what? The three things. Sin, death, and the devil. You remember this from last year? We talked about baptism. Yes. Right? Those of you had to memorize the catechism? Meaning of baptism, right? Now it's just in pre-teaching. Confirmation, Lutheran school students, when you memorize that, you had to remember right. We'll come together. Baptism frees us from sin, sin death, 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 and the power of the devil. Okay. All right. Frees us from sin, death, power of the devil. Keep going now. Who wants to take it next? No. You're right. You want to keep going? No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, Macy, keep going. I'm giving you an easy part. We're right here. Water. Right. Right. All right. Delivers us from. Stay with me, guys. Okay. Stay with me. Right? God delivers us from sin, death, and the power of the devil through baptism into what? Bottom of the bottom? Those three are? Servant king died for our sin for forgiveness. Right. Servant king. What? Say it. Forgiveness. Right? Crucified. Not just forgiveness, but who? <coughs> say it. Say the three things. Once you say it three things, forgiveness is one of those words we throw out. And we say, we're forgiven, forgiveness and stuff, and it ceases to mean something to oh. tie it to something, right? So this is what? Say it. What is this? Baptism in two. Through what? You don't get this, we're going to have to start all over again. No. Oh, no. Okay, because you know this. Right? Read it. What's the symbols? Servant King, say it. Keep going. Oh, and then he died on the cross. Thank you. All right. To do what? All right. Yes. Uh, but have we gone to the little heart thing? Yes, this is where we're at, right here. Oh, for everyone to serve and love each other as community. Do we need to use the word? Good job. All right. Are oh, you want to start on now? No. Okay, start over. You do it. Oh, what? Yes. Okay. Uh, Jesus. Oh, is it okay if I? Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. Jesus. Cassie's gonna do it. Jesus freed us from sin, death, and the devil through baptism. And wait. Look at the slide. Okay. I'm Don't guess. Look, look at the slide. <coughs> And then he died on the cross to save our sins. Who died? Jesus. Who? Use the slide. Who? Oh, sir. Sir. Right. Died on the cross. <laughs> rose from the dead. To do what? Save No, not save our sins. Do what? Oh. Look at the slide. Do what? <laughs> Whose heart is it? Jesus's. Whose heart is it? Ours. Oh. Ours. What's inside it? God, Holy Spirit. All right, Holy Spirit. Right? But what's the symbol inside the heart? Serving each other. Right? Who's serving? Us. Thank you. 
This is called Exodus 3, Creation 3. I know, that's why I didn't like to say it. Why don't you get the picture? Why don't you get the images first? You're probably pretty good because if you just said creation, if you just said Exodus 3, Creation 3, it'd make you explain the whole thing. It did get paid. Listen, okay? This is we've talked about, right? We've talked about creation exodus. We talked about it as Genesis and the Exodus out of Egypt. We talked about Exodus out of Babylon back to the Promised Land. All right, this is Exodus. What we call Exodus three, creation three here. All right, we are enslaved to sin, death, and the power of the devil. But God has freed us because of baptism into the servant king, crucified, buried risen from the dead, and he creates in our hearts to love him and serve one another. Right? Greatest commandment is? You shall go there. No? Yes, I right? feel like oh. it's love, love, love God. 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 It was so nice. And? All your story neighbor as yourself. Right. That's the slide. Okay. That's the slide. Okay. okay. You with me? All right. Ready to go on? Okay. So if I ask somebody to do this, do this slide, they can, they can tell it for me, all right? If I pick somebody at random to do this, you can tell, you can tell it to me? Yes. Anybody? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll trust you. All right. Before you go on, next slide. What I want you to do, all right, we're going to go around the room. All right. This is the question. I want you to stop and think about it. Okay. I want you to stop and think about it. Okay. What's the most? What is the most important thing? Thing, not people. Thing. What's the most important thing in your life? Okay. Most important thing in your life. All right? Don't be pious with me. Just tell me what you thought of. Okay. I'm going to start. Cool. Family. Family. That's people. I said thing. <coughs> All right? <gasps> Maggie. Bible. Bible. Okay? Can't use, nobody can use Bible again. Don't be pious. My brain. What do you spend most of your time doing? I 
house. Laura. My tub. Tub? I love it. Yeah. Your tub. All right. Caitlin's hot tub. The most to me, I guess, is my transportation. Okay. Uh, car. All right. You guys knew I was coming to this. I'm taking this. All right. Everybody's had everybody's been in. Alright? You can be really smart. Alright. Mine is gonna be seven. Oh, the one that makes sense. Oh, they I didn't spell it right, so forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Spelling is not required today. Right? Alright. Now, is there anything now that you guys gotta know about it? Okay. Is there anything else we want to make sure it gets on this board? Air. No. That's a thing. No. Computers, so I'm going to write everything. Okay. Yes. Computers. Uh, My teacher made me realize that. What else? Yes. As much as I hate school, like, honestly, in education. Okay. Church. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Xbox. Xbox. Or games, oh, game stations. Three sixty. We'll, we'll, we'll 360. say Xbox for all, all computer games. Three sixty. Yes. Paper, because you couldn't be writing that. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Yes. Dot cash dollars. All right. Anything else we want to make sure it gets on here? Gloves. All right. Oh, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. Now turn the page. Turn to number 40. Hello, Bob. 40. Turn that page. Alright. Sheldon. It's that guy that scares me. In my dreams. Oh my god. It's so Sylvester. Oh, it's Sylvester. This guy scares me. Okay. <laughs> this is a slide that puts all this together. All right, because we sit here and we think through life, right? And it's the question: Is all this stuff that we got on here? The question is. What connects it all? Right? Is there something that connects all this stuff <laughs> together? <coughs> all right? Because isn't that the best thing of life, right? We've got all this stuff running around in our lives, all this stuff you got going on, okay? Now I know you got stuff going on and you guys are busy because you guys are busier than I am. And I'm busy, okay? And you get all this stuff in your rooms, you get all this stuff in the house, all this stuff going on. What ties all this stuff together? A house. Right? A house. What's the center of this picture? The center? The center of the picture up here. The center of the circle. Center. Center. I thought you said center. Center. C E N T E R, like the point in the middle. What is the point in the middle? The diagram. What is the point in the middle of this? You know the figure? Just tell, somebody just tell me. Jesus. What is it? Jesus. Jesus. Who? Oh, Jesus. Thank you. All right. Okay. Right. This is what talks about here. When we get this that we've been talking about for the last ten weeks. <coughs> yeah, we've been here a while. Okay. When we've been here and going through this. What happens here is all this stuff, when we begin to get this, all this stuff is not just stuff thrown at you here, right? Look at the page. I wrote that 
stuff on the page on purpose like that. Because I try to write on here, just throw it on there. All right? But what the, becomes the center of the stuff in our lives is the same stuff thing that's on here. All right? I didn't bring another in here. It becomes, okay, I didn't write this well, okay. Jesus becomes the center of this. Okay. Jesus becomes the center of our life. And the question becomes, right? How do you use this stuff on here for Jesus? Okay. So how do you use your computer for Jesus? That's the question to wrestle with, right? Look up the how about your tablet? How do you use it for Jesus? Okay. What about your Xbox? How do you use it for Jesus? Your television? How do you use it for Jesus? Right. Your dirt bike? How do you use it for Jesus? Right. The stuff that's in your own life, how do you use it? How does Jesus fit into this? <coughs> okay. How does it fit in? How does it fit into it? Because what we're talking about here, let me go around this circle real quick here with you. Okay. To show you know the symbols here on, and I've lost my pen again. All right, start at the top here. All right, this is family, money, sports, sports work, jobs. All right, I want to go back over here. This is food, education, government. Church. This is church, okay? We talk about church. We're not talking about building. Remember that word we used? Second, sorry, we've been talking about that long word is community. Right? Remember that? The circle community? That's what we're talking about. We talk about church, this community around Jesus Christ. So the question that we're God wants in here is how do you use this? For Jesus. Okay. Here at the office, we've been throwing around three terms. I want you to write this down on the bottom of your bottom of the page someplace. Okay? We've got three terms. Alright? I'll explain them. L G L G L O M B. Got it? L G L O M D. All right. Adults can't speak. Anybody? Can anybody figure out what this is? Adults can't speak. Love God. All right. Love God. Love others. And. What's that? You think adults are. It's my like MD. No, MD. I think I'm a little bit Sorry, it's just too bad. I know the adults know because I saw them all green. Okay. 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 My dog's in my dog. There's 12. Okay. Disciples! Disciples. There's more than 12. Who's a disciple? Me! Yes! All right? And make disciples. We've been talking about that here at church for the last several months here. That's what we're about. Love God, love others, make disciples. Okay? And so the question but ah, you're right. Becomes simple here, right? Is the question becomes this stuff over here in your life, how do you use it to number one, love God? How do you know to use it, number two, to love others? And how do you use it to make disciples? Right? <clears throat> it can be a great big giant. You might be a writer. Okay? And you might use your computer to write great things. You might be a musician. And be able to write music or something on your computer and stuff in here on 
in here, all right? Next box, okay? You know, when you're playing online with a bunch of people, what are you playing? How are you playing? Okay? In here. Fine, that strategically is fine. But are you playing it to do this, show this? Are you playing it? Thank you. Answer my question. All right? How do you use these things to love God and love others and make disciples? Because right? who's a disciple? Me. Okay. In the room. Walk. Can I raise your hand? Okay. If you're not a disciple, lower your hand. Good. Everybody kept their hand back. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna. This one here. Wait on time. Okay, 40 minutes. Okay, we're doing better. <laughs> All right. Because right. I can cover the last several minutes. Okay. This one's this one's next here upon us. Okay. Uh, is this pieces? All right. Let me just talk you through this in here. All right. In here, because you need to you need to know stuff in here. And it's not necessarily the fun part of this class that I need to talk about in here. Did I get your question answered or your comment? I guess so. Okay. All right. This side over here, right, is we, we saw this symbol, right? It's the Holy Spirit who works through baptism and right, communion and the Word, right? To, right? And this is, right? The mind's right. Yep, you're you not using the words with me, right? Okay. To work us in our lives is that we are what? Servants. That who? Is right is right here. This God is King. King, right? And we're servants. Okay, this is another way of saying this, right? In here, God works through baptism, Lord's Supper, communion to change us, to make us to be servants, all right, where God is king, not only of our lives, but God is king. Right? You should be with me, right? Everybody, everybody, everybody say you're clear, say yeah. some verb, something. Because okay. we've, we've talked about this, right? This is this is stuff that we've seen. Just using it for the media, all right? But this is what the devil wants in your life. And you gotta know this. Somebody can close the doors for me. Get the noise out there. Fires. You need to know this. Okay. This is what the devil wants to do in your life. Alright? Because you recognize this, right? This is symbol for the devil. The devil uses this is a symbol for the world. The devil uses the world. He uses these temptations of power, position, profit, and pleasure. Power, the best. Right? You have control. Right? It's fun to be in control and be able to tell others what to do, isn't it? Right? Anybody have younger brothers and sisters? Yeah, it's fun to have younger brothers and sisters. You got to admit, right there, you got to too, right? There's an element here, right? Isn't it fun to be able to order your younger brother and sister around? Give me one Yeah. Okay. All right in here, all right? Position. Wants us to have that position of power and prestige, okay? All you gotta do is turn on the television and you see people who are wanting that position, a position in the world, okay? 
going out here. You can do business, you can be entertainment, you can do all kinds of different stuff, you can do sports, you can do a profit. Okay? People are always out to make luck. Temptation is always there to make money. Temptation is always there to want more money and want more stuff because you have more money, right? You can have more stuff. You've got more stuff. You can have more pleasure. Right? The more we have, the better it is, isn't it? The more we have, the better position we have. The more we have, the better power we have. The more we have, the more pleasure we can have in our lives, right? It's not good enough, right, to have just an Xbox. You've got to have the PlayStation 4. You've got the Xbox 360. You've got to have the Wii. You get all the stuff put together. Because if we have all of them and we have the best, right, we're great. You with me? What, God, what the devil wants to do is he wants to turn our hearts here. <clears throat> Notice back. Go back to slide. 39. All right. Look at the bottom of 39. All right. In Exodus 3, what God is trying to create in your heart, right? That servant figure in, in your heart where we're servants. What the devil's trying to do is the devil's trying to do this. Back to what you know, 41. Right? The devil wants to put this sin in our hearts where we're living this way. Notice these symbols you've seen now, right? Because you got this sin turned inside us. Notice our arms are not. Notice we're not crazy. Notice the figure's not down on our knees like it was a minute ago. He wants the sin to turn inside us where we've forgotten that God is king. And this is very real in your life. This isn't just some academic exercise because I can promise you right now is God's got, the devil has his eyes on you right now. He has you in his targets. Can you know how I know that? Because you're in this class. And you're learning. And you're growing. And you're hearing about this. And you're changing. And God's working on you. And that's the last thing the devil wants. These stories about the veils, the story that we've gone through in here, the other stories out of the Bible, but they're real. They're real today. And this is what the devil wants in your life. He wants you here. He doesn't want you in for a top half. He wants you on the sides. Okay? And the way we stay this way, and the way we keep going, is the ways we know, right? It's right here. May we avoid the bottom half of the slide is the top half of the slide. Actually, I wish if I had brought this slide, I'd have brought this slide in the worst. Okay, so we'll talk about the other one first. Okay. All right. You're going to sit here and think, this doesn't make any sense at all, but I'm going to show you that you know this. This one? Lord's bailing on me. <laughs> Lord is trying to. Am I picking on you tonight? Mm -hmm. So, I apologize. I'm picking on you. Alright. I'm going to walk you through this. Alright? Because you know all these symbols. Alright? Alright? This is? God. God. Alright? Right, creation, Adam and Eve, right? God mm -hmm. loving each other as equals when praising them in God. Right, what's that? Serving God. Right, all these are right, right? Where you love God and love others. Notice that the arms are still off in praise. We, you caught that, right? right? So the first one is God. In the beginning, God created. God created the heavens and the earth. He put Adam and Eve down here, slide number three. 
to, and there what they were doing is they were loving God and loving others, right? And then they forget about God and only think that they doubt themselves. Right? Okay, that's called sin, sin right? Yeah. Notice how the arrows have gone from loving God, loving others to loving circles, themselves. right? Notice what's also in the bottom of the slide, right? Death. 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 Notice what's missing here. It's the way down it. They're right. separated. Exactly, they're separated. Okay, that sin coming into the world separates them. All right. This is who? God comes from Jesus, serves Jesus. Right, Jesus served king, but Jesus comes as God, praising God, living in the midst of sinners, sinful people to love God, love others. Right? And then Jesus, right, servant king, does what? Notice the, notice the arms on the cross. What's the arms on the cross grab? He dies for the sins. Yeah, the sins. Okay. He comes and dies for the people's sins. Then he brings them back to God. Right? Right? This is the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Who enables his people now? Notice the hands, the hand, the hands. Praising. praising God. All right. Notice where sin is now on the cross. On the cross. All right. Notice the lines right here. What are the lines doing? Go back to God. Right. Loving God, loving others. Okay. In here, right. The dotted lines mean we do. We're doing that now, not perfectly. But we still get to do it. We still do it. Uh, not perfectly. Notice what the bottom, the bottom corner there. What's what's there now? Gateway to heaven. What? It's a gate, right? You notice the slats because, right, with the gate, with the gate with slats, you can see through the gate partially, right? You can't see clearly, but you can see partially through there, all right? And this is? They're in heaven. They're in heaven doing what? With God, praising God. Praising God, and the arrows is? Going to God. Right. What's that? Right. The phrase we've been using is, right, loving God, loving others, right? Okay, everybody got this? Yes. Got it? Who's got it? All right, everybody close your books. Uh -oh. <laughs> Everybody close your books. I right, got it? Who wants to go first? Who's brave enough to go first? Okay. You want to try? Okay. Where do I go to? The whole thing? Yep. Okay. Let's go. Let her. Uh, we'll help. The, we'll help the first person. Get the advantage. Yeah. God, the night from his creation, from the very was God's plan. Then for plan, uh, uh, plan was what? Uh, for everyone's God and others. Okay, keep going. Then sin comes into the world. All right. Um, God comes to earth. And to serve him, nobody serves him. Okay. Guy comes to earth and does what? Number, number five. Guy comes to earth and does what? Number five. No, he's doing this. Right? He's on the to work. Right? Praising the arrows mean, right? Loving others and God. Okay? Close. Keep going. Six. Uh, he dies for everyone. Okay. Seven. Okay. Uh, the Holy Spirit comes down to earth. Well, comes into our hearts. And we're connected with God not perfectly. Okay. Um, what about sin? 
It's on the cross. Okay. Eight. No. Okay. All right. Most relaxed. That was really bad. All right. Well, I think I said. That's right. Okay. So the first one's God, and then the second one is creation, and the third, so like the third people were God's man, but it wasn't to be perfect. But then in the fourth one, they change, and they're no longer connected. And then in the fifth one, God comes, and. Who's really brave? Mm -hmm. Oh, you yeah. should die. You really brave? You just realized. Yeah. You even tried? You really brave? <coughs> Who's really brave? <coughs> I mean, one volunteer and you're really brave. Somebody hasn't done that. You're, seriously, no, you want to be no, brave? No, because I feel okay. like it's going to be punishing. Want to pick on you? I feel like it's going to be punishing. All right? Sure. Okay. All right? Just hang on. All right? You must, you must try it. Somebody else hasn't done it. One of the guys. Let the girls do it over here. One of the guys. Uh, Justin. What? Oh, we just came up. It's, uh, no, we don't. It's, there, it's God, and then it's creation <laughs> with Adam and Eve, and God's still there. And then God, uh, and then. I don't know. Oh wait, a um, Adam and Eve uh, praise God, and then they forget about God and, and are selfish and, uh, and think about themselves. And then Jesus comes down as the servant king and and then and they're still thinking of themselves. And then Jesus dies on the cross and takes their sins and. And then um, uh, the crosses take the sin, and, and uh, Adam and Eve are, uh, they praise God, but it's not perfect. And then they die, and they, they go to heaven, and they are praising God. Okay. Close enough, right? Good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You ready? You don't have to do it. This is hard. Yes, sir. You want to give it a try? Sure. Let's try Let's try Let's try it. You know? Let's try it. You don't want to? Okay. It's going to be. All right. Why for the yes. surprise? Yeah, surprise. Anybody else want to try it? Hunter has to do it. Make Hunter do it. Hunter wants to do it. You want to try I want to see what it is. You want to see what it is? Yeah. Okay. 
that's not just an academic exercise, it gives you that structure in being able to go through them. Okay. And be able to give this back, okay? And if you like math, you can use your own words, it's okay. In here. I wouldn't tell it like it's described in here, I wouldn't tell it like Matthew. You wouldn't tell it like Matthew, you wouldn't tell it like here. That's okay, because it doesn't have to be his words, you don't have to be my words, it doesn't have to be this word, but there is a story for you to tell. Right. And this is the story right here, for you to tell. Right. Uh, let's go on to 43. And <coughs> Alright. This one ought to be easy. You ought to be able to explain this one now, right? Yes. Remember the remember where he started? God's, God's plan that fell apart? Right? Uh, hold your fingers where you're at. Just go back to slide six. Right? Yeah. Okay. Just to, just to, just to, just to review so you saw, see what it is. Back in slide six, page 14. Yeah, that was a long time ago, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You see six? Now come back to this slide right here. Okay. All right. By now you know this slide, right? Serving King, crucified, risen from the dead, sent into heaven, sends the Holy Spirit, right? In here. Coming down, this is community. community, or another word for community, we can start I threw it at you tonight, right, is family. church, church. Family. notice I, or family, right, notice I'm not, when we talk about it here, we're not talking church, meaning building or institution, church is community, oh. I'm church, your church, okay, and so you sit here and God builds, is building a community in the world around, around, the servant king. Thank you. Don't guess, just look at the slide. <laughs> it's much easier to look at the slide. Okay, it's not 20 questions. Okay. All right. This makes sense by now, right? Everybody understands this one. Good. All right. Let me go through this row. This is the one that I don't do this half the time. But I'm going to do this one. Which is this okay. one? All right. This is the last slide. Number forty-four. All right. This talks about the end. All right. Like the end of the end. You know, when Jesus dies and comes back. All right. When Jesus dies and comes back. He's going to gather all of his everybody who has ever lived is going to gather around him and he's going to separate the it says from the as sinners sheep from the, sheep from the goats right Good. notice the symbols it uses here sure. the sheep what's the symbol oh servants. servants the sheep or the goats sin, sin. right <laughs> separates sheep or servants from sinners and goats. Okay. Separation is based on what? How does he divide us? So based on what you do? Based on who? God. Jesus, thank you. Okay. I'm sure you get that. Because right. he sits here and he says, describes servants, right? He says, you who are servants, you, this is food, food right? You gave me food when I was hungry. This is drink. drink. Give me something to drink. All right. This is boundary. family. That's what, Guess what it means. Right. This is, this is supposed to be family community, right? What's the dotted line? All right. When I was alone, you visited me. When I was alone, you brought me in. When I was separated, you brought me back in. All right? This is clothes, right? When I was clothes, you gave me something to wear. This is health, right? 
When I was sick, you healed me. This is? Justice. No. Law. What's that? Prison, right. This is prison. When I was in prison and you visited me. Right? In other words, this is what servants do. Right? We talked about loving God, loving others, making disciples. Right? Guess what this fault where this falls? This is the loving others part. Hello. Okay. Remember we talked about Ephesians 2, 8, 9, and 10? For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. With me? For grace you have been saved through faith is not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Right? With me? Therefore you are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do what? Well, Lord. Oh, God, thank you. To do this. And what's the strength we get to do this? How do we find the strength? Okay, in here. What's on? What is on here? Start. Start. Start over here on the side. This is. Uh, where's my marker? There. This is. What's that look like? Huh? Right. Well, one of the symbols here you can back up. Okay, this is this is going to be communion and baptism. So this is going to be communion, yeah. food, baptism. Yeah. This is food. This this is what I'm referring to here is food. All right. What they're talking about is this getting together with people. Right. Notice in your you've seen this in confirmation. Right. We're trying to do this. Right. We're teaching you about. Baptism, right? We taught you about the Lord's Supper. We brought you in after last year. You come to the communion and take the Lord's Supper, right? In here. On this side over here, right, is this is food. This is this is in here. You guys see that in confirmation. It's called fellowship events. When you guys just get together to have fun, right? This is called all right, small group time. All right, we should get together and do group stuff in here. All right. Now the other side of this, if this is baptism, this is Lord's Supper. This is just hanging out together and fellowship with each other. This is what? Yeah. When Jesus was. Thank you. All right. And you want to see that? in your confirmation. Emily did that for me. She set that example up. <laughs> you got to thank Emily for that one. And this is how we go and live this book out. Close your books. Get yours. I'm talking here as I answer the question for you. Make sure you get the, the homework. Three, hey, make sure your parents see that. You're not meeting again until January 8th. Yeah. No. Except, yes. uh, except for we're meeting on the 11th to do our service. Okay. Yet. Now, servant events, servant events, that's different. Okay. We're not meeting in here until back January 8th. Pastor Short right now is on schedule to be back with you on January 8th. Wait, well, what about where are you going? What's that? Where are you going? Where am I going? I will be around. Um, this is kind of the cycle that we take is that I teach this part and then he will come back in in January and pretty much take you to the end. Okay? No. All right. In here. Okay. Um, I have a couple of thoughts and questions. Thoughts for you guys to wrap up. You guys have any thoughts or questions for me? We've got a couple minutes here. Yes. Okay. This is, um, there's two things that I like to teach. I love teaching. Okay. I hope that conveys the energy in here. All right. Um, 
I love teaching. Any, any arguments? I love teaching confirmation. I love the excitement. I love the energy that you have. Um, I love the feedback that I get. I love the dialogue and the questions, even the sidetracks that we get off our times. I love doing that. Okay? Um, I love teaching this material. Um, this is one of my favorite things to teach. I've taught this many times. I've taught this to many confirmation classes now. I've taught this to many groups of adults. This is one of my favorite things to teach. Because I get to watch people, I watch adults, I get to watch you process this. I get to watch the light come on in your eyes. That's the joy of teaching. Is that when you guys, we're all transparent, is that when you get it, I can, I can see it on your faces. And I've seen it somewhere during the last eight weeks, I've seen it on your faces. Okay. Anyway. Um, it has been a privilege. Yeah, I'll be back in and out in here. Um, but this is kind of yes. a segue in here. Um, it was a privilege teaching you guys and going through this. And I wish to thank you very much. Okay. Um, and last one, whether you realize it or not, you are three quarters through the confirmation. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to come back in January. And I promise you, it will fly. You will turn around, and it will be Palm Sunday, and you're going to go, what? It's over? Okay. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, Grace for our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, and be with us all. And all God's people said together, Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. Have a great Christmas break. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait.